do 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 what is wrong with me sometimes? I don't know. Anyway, we're back with Polly Bridge again. Another day, another bridge. So stop and go. Let's have a go. Oh no, that's not a rhyme. Same word. Right, so what do we have here? We've got a car and a Volkswagen van. What does that do? Does it stop? Hang on a second. I swear wood can't go that long. How long does wood go? Hey, oh. Alright, so this is quite boring, I think. But it might work. The car goes flying over, he stops there, boat is going to be tight as hell. Ooh. Got three, and then this just drives over. Sorted. Easy. Hydro free. Top 20%, not bad. Okay, so this level, rock rest. Perhaps we can use that rock to our advantage. So we've got a rock here that's going to help us. So if we make a curve thing again. What I'm thinking is get my road to rest on it. Oh, this is quite good actually. How come I couldn't do this in the last video? It was like so lumpy. Right, so I think that will hold. So if I mirror that again. All right, so I think we're nearly there. I'll just join up the last bits of my truss and then see if that holds. Oh, that was horrible. Hang on. That happened roof. I put bloody road on the top. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so that's holding, but it's really not liking that. Ugh. I need to make these middle ones a lot higher, I think. Yeah, it's bringing up those middle ones and made that much stronger. Is it going to hold though? 70, yeah, looks good. Ooh. Yeah, it looks fine. Sweet. It's not, it's a bit boring though, that bridge, isn't it? Top 43. I'm going to do that one again. Right, so at the moment, I think I've got these two looking quite nice. I'm just going to work out what to do in the middle. Right, so I think that's going to sit on the rocks, okay? Let's uh, zoom out a bit and have a quick play. Oh, it's holding itself. See how the limo's doing. We're on in the 90s. Oh, and we broke. Right, so I might get rid of these curves. I've been a bit, I don't know, a bit architectury today. I need to go back to engineering and be really boring. But unfortunately... Engineering stuff works better because it's boring and mathy. Right, so those top trusses are a lot more boring looking, but I'm guessing that might work a bit better. I'm still not sure about this because I think if we watch this limo as it goes across, well, it's holding a lot better. Well, you can see it just starts to lift up there. I don't know if you saw that, but this node started lifting up which really means it's a bit too much of a pivot. So what I might do is... Right, so I've gone a bit to town down here and made, made the bottom a bit more stable. But I don't know if this is any better than the first one, so... I can't remember what the budget was. But this is 20,000. Seems to be getting across okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Oh, look, there's a deer up there. Ah. Right, so we were... Top 40%, I think. Oh, now we're in 27. So that's much better. Oh yeah, this bottom one is basically what I was trying to do. So it's a lot more curvy, smaller trusses, using a bit less material. So that's that's what I was aiming for, and I just failed miserably. Level 13, redraw. Another drawbridge. No cheating now. Here we go, split joints. I know all about these, thanks to my first channel commenters. I got absolutely rinsed for not using split joints to try and do jumps. But I think jumps are better. I wonder how fast ambulances go. Because if I was an ambulance, I'd absolutely cheese it. Alright, so simple. Oh, bloody boat comes through first, doesn't it? Ooh, I've just had an idea. So what I'm thinking, actually... I don't... Well, I can't believe this ambulance is going to cane... Oh, there you go. Speed, two metres a second. That's not fast. I was hoping it was going to jump and I could do a cool jump. But instead, I might use some hydraulics. Right, so I'm guessing what they want you to do is just one of those either side. Ram a joint in the middle. So yeah, that comes up. Boat goes under. Thing comes back down. And then I'm guessing this ambulance might just wreck that. Because otherwise, that's way too easy. Oh, no, it is just quite easy. Top 13%. Honestly, like, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but... What is everyone else doing? I thought that was 
the obvious solution. Well, apparently 27,000 other people thought of something else. Okay. Right, on to the land brace. When red joints aren't available, try bracing against something else. Ooh, and we've got a motorbike. A proper chopper. But yeah, what I'm thinking of, surely that's gonna just sit on this shelf thing. I don't know how heavy this is gonna be, but let's just see what that does. What? <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm not 100% sure why... Is there nothing... Why doesn't that support it? Is it too... What? Okay, so what I was expecting was this road would just sit on this, but looks like it's not a thing. That's what we might have to do then. Which I guess why the budget is a bit bigger. Is make like a... make a truss under here. Okay, and what I'll have this do is rest against the wall. Try and get this as straight as we can. Because we know forces, they want to go straight. This little brace should hold this one, stop it wibbling around. Wibbling. Okay, let's give that a go. Oh! So this bottom one broke, because there's quite a bit of force going through there. Um, we got no steel, so I guess what I could do is maybe share some of this weight. So if I take this joint and do that, it's rather than the weight of all this bridge going straight down this sort of angle, it should help split it to bring it across here, which will then... Yeah, you get- well, let's see if it works. Or it won't work. No, it didn't work. And that might sort of share the load against this wall a bit. So we'll see what that happens. Oh, yep. Yeah, so that holds it. The motorbike got across easy. Sorted. So I don't know how high that's going to be. 81%! Absolutely shocking. I could probably delete most of that. Because all this weight of the road is being supported underneath, so let's try deleting that. That took a hell of a chunk of budget out. Yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. Oh, no. Um, if I just sort these angles out a bit. No, oh, we made it! But we did break. I've just noticed as well, I don't know if you can hear this motorbike. I'll, I'll turn the sound up a bit, but have a listen. It, it literally sounds like a man has done a motorbike noise, like... Right, ready, ready. <laughs> That's not a real bike. Sweet, it's down to 5,000 monies. How... Oh, I'm absolutely terrible at this level. Right, I'll go again and we'll see what I'm doing wrong. So, we can probably neaten all of this up. So let's go back to just a normal truss, but we'll go underneath. Because there's no point going on top if we need to rest against that wall. Right, so we'll try something like that. And basically what I've done is I've made this end nice and big triangles to try and spread that weight out easily. Whereas this end, we've gone a bit smaller because the weight isn't being forced against anything. So it's only got to hold itself, essentially. And obviously, as you work back, you're holding more and more weight of all this bridge. So we'll see what this one does. It's a bit tense, but it might make... Oh! Okay, that was pretty close, I'm not going to lie. Well, I'll tell you what, that's one thing I can do straight away. it will probably be way back here, actually. Let's move all of these, because I've just had a thought that there's no need to overhang. He can do a little jump. He's basically Evil Knievel, so we'll try that. Because now we're down to just over 4,000. So if he can make that jump, that's really going to help us. We're not red. Beautiful. There we go. I was massively overcompensating. How fast it was going. I reckon then, let's just keep going back a bit. Will he make the jump? Oh! Yeah, boy! Right, so we're under 4,000 now. Much more like it. We're still in the... only in the top 20. I was hoping for better, but... Maybe I'll come back and revisit at a later stage. But for now, next level. Right, use the hydraulic controller to configure when your hydraulics are. Okay, so this one's a bit more complicated, so we've got... So we need to get him up there, and then the hydraulics go. I don't know why that one's yellow. Okay, I really don't know why that's yellow. I might do in a minute, we'll see. But anyway, we've got to get this car to the top, and these two to the bottom. I'm going to put a truss underneath, and then I'm going to use this point down here. 
bring this down. Is that the best way? I don't think 50% will get there, because that needs to be... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, so car goes up here. Absolutely cheap. Oh, I forgot my joint. Put a joint in there. Absolutely cheese it. This comes down. A bit too far and then dies. I wish you could kind of see where it ends up after after it's contracted, because that's quite annoying. But I think if we want to keep this way over to the right, because as it comes down, it's going to stick out to the left, and then you're going to lose your vertical support. There's a car up there. Oh, are they going to fit? It's going to be tight. Oh, nice. Oh no, and that's gone back up. I didn't want it to go up. So this is where I need to work out how that hydraulic controller thing works. Because he's just crashed into the sports car. Oh no. Insurance claim incoming. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So while this is selected, you can click. And I think if it's yellow, it means during that stage, it will do whatever's in yellow. So I want the car to go up there. And then I want that to engage, that to engage, so the thing comes down. And then, so the second one, I don't want that to do anything. I don't, that's not going to be there, so it doesn't matter. So we'll see what happens now I've changed that. So basically B, both yellow, D, both white. So hopefully they do nothing. Let's have a look. So car creams it up there. These ones, you've made a very efficient little gap for them. And this deer is just watching on. Oh, there's one. And is there two? Yes. Beautiful. So that's how you do it. So that was half the budget, which ain't too bad. 30%. I reckon I can massively reduce this. So we'll just have a quick go, because I think we're on like 40% stress, which is nothing. Ooh, nice. That was much better and a fair bit cheaper because we put our stress from 40% up to 90. Oh, some people have done this for 2,000. That is nuts. But yet, what is going on with that one? <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> Why? That must cost so much and does nothing. <laughs> right, next level. Large bridge. Use your basic building skills to build a large bridge. Um, ooh, we got rope and shit this time. Alright, so I think this time I want to go for something a bit more interesting. Let's get some curves in. Oh, something like that looks a bit delish, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm going to move these over and just make sure we got that classic triangle shape in the middle. So let's see if we can do this out of wood. Seems to be holding. Ugh. How much does that weigh? A shit ton. I think we might have to go full on steel for this one. Cause that's already, that's half my budget. Just doing a... Alright, so that's a hell of a lot stronger. It's like not symmetrical at all. And it just about held. But it's pretty ugly and boring. Yay, a completed pine mountains! Let's keep an eye on what bit go red and what bit stay green. So if you notice, these top ones, they're all going red, but all of these braces, all our triangles, they're all actually green, so that should mean we can replace them with a bit of wood. Okay, so that's a bit more like, I think those ones as well were also green. Alright, so let's see what happens with that. Yeah, so a bit of force, but it looks good. I think that's a fair bit cheaper as well. Top 6%. So wow, that really, really cut down the, the cost. I think that's a really good way if you're struggling in this game. Really check out at what pieces are not being stressed. So I don't know if this will be cheaper. Hang on, let's just go back. 
Right, so I'm on 25 exactly. So in order to replace these with wood, I'm going to need two bits. And then I need to cross brace them. So that's cut a fair chunk down. But we'll see if that actually... I'm a bit weary of this, not going to lie. They're looking okay. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. So we cut down even more costs just by getting rid of those other ones as well. So let's see what we're on now. I'm quite... I'm pretty pleased with myself actually. That's some good engineering judgement, if I do say so myself. So in the top 3%. So pretty happy with that. As this is the last bridge in this thing, I'm going to have a quick play and get it as low as I can. I'm just going to like shrink these trusses, make them a bit smaller, a bit less material. Right, so I've been slowly tweaking these little things just to bring that price down. I'm going to try and get it under 22,800. There we go. So hopefully this will still hold. And let's see what that does. You can see everything's a lot more orange the whole time now. This is proper at its limit. Oh, just about made it. So we made it across. Let's see where we end up on that leaderboard. I really want to get top 500, but I don't think it's going to happen. Come on, loading. Oh, 513. Oh, I've got a i got to get top 500. Right, one second, one second. Right, so I think I might be there. I'm like just over 22,700. Um, so yeah, well, let's play this. Is it going to hold? It's so dodgy. Like, everything goes bright red. Oh, that's so... If that went up to 98, I swear. Got over, though. Let's see, see what we're at. 99.7 Wow, so One Piece was literally about to burst Yes! Top 500 Which is top 2% And I did not just spend a good half an hour tweaking tiny little nodes just to get there It was all first try No editing First try That's just what it's like to be an engineer playing this game Right, catch you next time Cheers all